Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kayla here. I want to thank everyone so much for clicking on today's video. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you're new. On my channel, we do a lot of home decorating videos, reno videos, cleaning motivation, all that good stuff. So please make sure that you are subscribed. And let's go ahead and get started with today's video. You can do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like. You can do better. So much better Okay guys, so I am finally home from a long day of work. Um, this was the first day that I did not work from home in over a year. If you guys don't know, I am a second grade teacher and we, all the teachers were called back into the big building to begin the process of the kids like coming back into school and stuff. So today was my first day in my classroom, my first day not working and teaching the kids virtually. Yeah. So I was not able to be home while a lot of the construction was happening and I'm finally about to see the tile with the grout. I'm really hoping that I made the right decision with the grout colors and everything. So here we go. All right, my genuine reaction. This looks, oh my gosh, wait a second. Yeah. This looks so good, you guys. Oh my gosh, the choice of the ground was perfect. Spot on, literally spot on. Oh, this is too cute. I am obsessed. You guys, like, just look at that. It's so cute. Wow. That's what it looks like in real life. You see how when I tap my screen, it focused on that? That is the exactly how it looks in like through my eyes. <laughs> Sometimes when I film this, it looks like a dark color, but it's really not. Wow, it's so pretty. You guys gotta let me know what you think. And like, I can't step on it yet because it has to cure. But um, I think the color, like the grout choice was perfect. It was perfect. This is beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. Yeah. I can't believe this is my kitchen. I cannot believe this is my kitchen. So you know what I wanna do right now? Now that the floors are in, and oof, I had already bought the paint because I thought that I would be painting all the cabinets outside. Ooh, that's heavy. So I'm actually gonna swatch. This color, y'all, is looking a little too light now. But let me, see, this is why we swatch. So I'm gonna stir it up. Okay guys, so this is what the gray looks like. Of course, it's not dry yet with the flooring. Y'all, I don't know why my camera makes the floors look so dark. They're not that dark. This one is Silver City. And so what I can notice is, it's definitely not the same, but of course it's not dry. So when it is dry, we'll come back and we will revisit all of this. Hey guys, 
so I just got off work and now I'm about to go inside of the Home Depot. We are gonna try to find a sage pink color for the door. Also, we're gonna grab a couple of stains and I need to get some new paint rollers because my contractor said I was using the wrong type. So that's a whole nother issue that we're gonna have to fix. If you watched my last video, then you know I started painting the upper cabinets white, but I used the wrong brush. Ooh. So the finish, or the way they feel, is just kind of rough. I should be using a sponge roller, so that's what we're going to get. Um, I'm just learning so much, y'all. Let's go in here and get everything that we need, so that way today we can just paint the entire kitchen. Here we go. I am back home and I'm in the kitchen and this is my first time like walking around and stepping in here and I'm like tiptoeing around like I'm so happy I love it it looks so cute and I know yesterday I said that I wanted to show you guys what it looks like in the daytime so this is what it looks like with a little bit of the natural light that I have in here it's not really sunny here today so absolutely gorgeous yeah take me your arms do just what you want you're the one to trust all right hey guys so it's a little bit later now in the evening took a long night up and now we're about to begin working up in here so um, yesterday, you guys remember that we swatched the paint. Well, it is dry now, and this is what it looks like. It looks, it's a pretty close match to what is on the card. And with it compared to the tile, and it isn't quite an exact match in paint color, but I feel like that's okay. I don't think it has to be the exact same. I just wanted to get it as close as possible and yeah i still think i'm gonna go with this color i finalized the color for the door i had to come home and see like the other sage things that i had before i could make a decision but for the door color this is the one we're going with it's called cottage hill and so that is going to be the door color and this is the door color with the floor So far, 
are. This is the color story. I think that looks, those two colors look really cute together. So that's what we're going with. Y'all saw in Home Depot, I got sponge rollers to paint my cabinets in the door for a smooth finish. And I went ahead and um, as my contractor instructed, he said I needed to sand what I had painted all the way down. So that's what I did on all the cabinets that I painted and now they're smooth again. Like when you rub your hand across it, it's nice and smooth like how it should be. Um, so I'm about to go in with a second coat of paint using a sponge roller. We're gonna do all the uppers right now. And then after I do the uppers, we will do the ones on the bottom. So let's get started on that. In the meantime, Marcus is putting in the holes here because my contractor also said we should have these in before we paint. So in the stars, written in the stars. about to test out the stain you guys know from the home depot i bought two of them one in natural and one in summer oak so we are gonna test these out and see which one is the winner also y'all i'm having to test it on here because um we don't know where the piece that he cut off went i'm thinking that he hauled it away with the rest of the jump mistakenly so, womp, womp, womp. But I will have some other pieces left over because we have two more like long pieces left. But yeah, that's what I was hoping to test this on, but instead I'm just gonna test it like right here. Ooh, this is pretty. This is what Summer Oak is looking like. She's cute. And then we have Natural. It just looks like clear, actually. Perhaps, is it clear? Okay, and this is natural. We'll see. So, let's go ahead and test both of them. Right? So, let's try y'all. We're gonna try summer oak on this side. Cute. 
Oh, snap. Okay, natural wins. Natural is the winner. I just thought you Nat, nat, natty, natural. That's beautiful. What do you think? Okay, guys, so this is what it's looking like. This was summer oak and this was natural. I love the way natural looks. Hopefully, y'all can see it pretty good on camera. So, yeah, we're going with natural. You guys actually probably saw me put natural, like the big one, in my cart at first, but then I started looking at the summer oak. I was like, let me sample it. So, I should have just went with my first thought. So, now I will probably have to go back to Home Depot and get a bigger bottle. But hopefully, this will be enough for this one countertop that I'm about to do. So, let's start. This is beautiful. Hopefully y'all can tell the difference with the stain added. Just like how much more richness it adds to the vibe. And also we finished doing one coat here. So probably do another coat and then um, add the hardware later and stuff like that. But yeah, I am loving it. I'm so, so happy with the color. Only thing I'm not happy about, oh, the battery's about to die. Okay, but the only thing real quick that I'm not happy about is these little pieces here. So we got these countertops, y'all know, from Florida Decor. So I'm definitely gonna call them and let them know, like, this, these little pieces, these little marks where the stain did not apply for whatever reason. I'm thinking this might have been like wood glue or something. I'm gonna try to sand it to see if I can get it off, but it's very, very smooth. So I'm honestly not sure. But outside of these little imperfections on this side of the countertop, everything looks so great. It just looks so good. And it's even richer in person. I don't know, the camera kind of washes out the color a little bit, but it looks very warm in person. Cause I'm thinking it might be wood glue but I'm not 100% sure. It's just like, you know, when you pay a lot of money for something, you kind of want it to be right, even though I'm not like the pickiest person. It's just annoying. I, I did not notice this though when it was all natural. It really, it just stands out now.
currently 1 a.m. We have been painting and painting and painting our lives away. And this is pretty much what everything looks like. Let me show you guys. Yeah. This is what everything looks like. And the goal is to do two coats on everything. So this all has two coats. These need another coat and I think everything along this wall here needs another coat too. Woo, it's taking some time, but we're working hard. We also did the um, toe kicks. We painted those as well. So these strips and these are gonna go right underneath here. You can see, like, so that way there'll be no gaps, no opening. It'll just look really seamless. So yeah, that's what we're doing now. Say hey. <laughs> um, And now, y'all, we are so hungry. We're about to go to IHOP, actually. So, and what's crazy is, is that I have to be to work tomorrow at 7 a.m. Physically at work tomorrow at 7 a.m. Ooh, rental life is tiring, so. We're about to go. And I guess we'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, so I am out of work, done for the day. And now I just came to my cabinet place to pick up one more cabinet. A lot of you guys had questions about where I go or where I went to get my cabinets. And the place is called All Wood Kitchen Cabinets. You know what, I'ma just, I'ma show y'all in a second what it's called. And so we're gonna go in here and just get a 12 inch cabinet because I mentioned in my last video that there's a little gap that will be in between the corner cabinet and the vent hood. A lot of y'all said I should put shelves there, but I'm thinking I wanna do just a cabinet um, instead. I do think the shelves would've been cute though. So yeah, that's what I'm thinking for now. Well. So let's go inside and get the cabinet. Alrighty guys, so I just made it back home. I got the cabinet. She fit perfectly right here in my front seat. And we're about to take her inside to make sure that she's gonna fit perfectly in the spot that we bought her to go in. So let's go ahead and do that now. All right, y'all, so it's supposed to go in this space. Babe, it's gonna be, it's gonna fit perfectly. Go ahead, my love. That seems like the right way to do it, right? Oh my gosh, yeah. This space needed that. Now we have one more to paint <laughs> in addition to everything else. Okay, so as you guys saw, it looked really good. And so I just gotta paint that. I'll probably move it outside to paint it. It's way easier to paint them out there than it is to do it when they're all stationed up in here. And then my electrician is supposed to be coming in a little bit to install, to install, to install the stove and the dishwasher. My vent hood, unfortunately, is not here yet. So, but that's okay because backsplash still has not been done and the backsplash is gonna go all the way up or at least it's supposed to. And do, 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 what else needs to be done? Oh, and then the light above here that I bought in my last video. It's gonna go up there. And then I need him to fix this situation because it's a mess. These originally were in like that wall oven thing. So that's why the cords are so long and awkward. So all of that needs to be fixed. And you guys, let's talk really quick because I have a dilemma. I was not aware that the tile cannot go straight on this wood that I have here. Um, I was concerned about the ridges in the wood, but that was my only concern. I wasn't, I didn't know that you can't directly place tile on the wood. So that means that things have to change a little bit. 
So I had a couple options. First option was to just leave the wood paneling because over here it'll still remain and back there. And so just tie the whole kitchen in together with the wood paneling. That was my first option. And not do any backsplash basically. Second option was to add drywall and then add the tile um, on top of that. And then the third option um, is to just do a peel and stick backsplash. And the reason my contractor said that the tile can't just stick to the wood is because it is heavy and it'll just fall down. Um, it won't have a good adhesion basically. So with the peel and stick backsplash, it's very, very light. So it'll easily be able to stick up there. It's what he was saying. So those are the three options. Um, and so I thought long and hard. At first I was like, okay, you know what? Forget it. I'm just gonna leave the walls as they are, panel all the way through. It'll be cute. But then my walls have so many imperfections, like the wood is so damaged um, because I guess whatever this kitchen looked like before I moved in, there probably was some sort of like vinyl on the wood itself and it just looks terrible. So I was like, you know, I can't even do that because the wood isn't in a good enough shape where I'd want to like display it as backsplash. So that went down the drain. And then my second option was, okay, let's do the peel and stick backsplash. So I started looking that up on Amazon to see what I could find, Home Depot, yada, yada, yada. Long story short, I found some options, but they're just not as cute as what I had originally picked out and what's in my head. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and do the drywall. And I think that is going to be the best option. And I feel like It'll look the best and I'm doing a complete makeover in here. Might as well go all the way and get real tile, real backsplash. So that's what I'm thinking right now. Hopefully that will be successful, but if it's not, then we'll go the peel and stick route. So that's what I'm thinking right now. Y'all leave your comments down below. What do you think I should do? Add the drywall so we can put real tile on it or just do the peel and stick. Okay guys, so my electrician is here. He is working, we're trying to get the stove in tonight, but the light is in and it looks fantastic, y'all. Here we go, take a look. Like I'm still in awe of how cute it looks. It's everything I wanted. You can't keep holding there she is. I mean like, what? So cute. I have some Edison bulbs to go in there. Um, oh my gosh, I love it. Absolutely love it. Wow, it just looks so cute. It's the perfect height. It's literally exactly how I wanted it. Y'all let me know down in the comments right now what you think of this light. I will have the link down below. It's like 40 bucks on Amazon. And I feel like it looks like pretty, it looks expensive. I seem to just need to smooth out the cord a little bit um, so that it looks straighter. But other than that, mm, so cute. Hey guys, so I just got home from work and got some cool packages here. We're opening up the farmhouse sink, but I am hoping and praying that it is not broken because the sounds that I hear right now. Okay, let's just look. 
Wow. Completely destroyed. Why isn't this type of stuff secure? I mean, like, literally. Wow. I'm, I'm not ordering there again. Who is it? Well, I got it off Amazon, but it's not who even is? packaged well. Yeah, I don't know who this is. It's like this. It's not even packaged well. Like all of this stuff is just thrown on top. These are hard objects. Wow. It was gonna be so pretty though. You know, good business. This is really disappointing, you guys. Like, this is literally the last thing I thought I would be waiting on because it was actually supposed to be delivered on Friday and I ordered it a couple weeks ago. So, yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna order and it you know what? from again. I'm from sorry, this company. it was supposed to come yesterday. Yeah, it was I'm supposed to come. Why it wasn't supposed Probably because they broke it yesterday, and, yeah, the, and they want to drop it off, it off here. Because it's supposed to come via Amazon, I think. Mm, terrible. So yeah, really disappointed. It would have been really pretty though. I'll pop up a picture of what it's supposed to look like. But actually, no, I'm not even going to, I'm not gonna even going to lift it up. I was going to show y'all. And then my other package. All right. Now this is good protection. Yes. Ooh, guys, this is a sneak peek for when we decorate the kitchen. I got these jars. Ooh, they're so cute. All right, guys. And I got one more package to show y'all. This is my range hood that is going to go right here. And so... So pretty. Hopefully this isn't broken. It shouldn't be, it's made out of wood. So it has all the instructions here and everything. Nice. Hey guys, so we've come to the end of today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it so, so much. As you guys can see, we got done a lot in this video, but there's still a couple more things to go. So next up, um, installing the sink, vent hood, and what else needs to be done next? Hardware, countertops, and then the kitchen will literally be done. So the next video will probably be like the finale video for everything, and I'm so excited about that. And before you guys click off, I just wanna show y'all what the kitchen is looking like right now. You guys know at the end, we track the progress. So this is what our kitchen is looking like currently. All right, y'all, so this is what it is looking like currently. So stinking cute. Got the countertop and my appliances are in. I'm so happy. So now y'all, I can like make something. I could put a pizza in the oven. I can make some eggs in the morning, make some pancakes. I love this oven. It is so cute to me. It's so cute. Yes, the electricity on it is on and everything. 
cabinet is in and functional. I didn't show you guys that in the last video. So yeah, all that's working. This is even hooked up as well, like the electrical, but plumbing still has to be done. But I'm waiting to get the plumbing done when we get the sink. So that'll be done together. New light fixtures in and it's gorgeous. So yeah, and a lot of gains. And of course we painted the cabinets. So that's what everything is looking like right now. And you guys also saw that we got the vent hood, but um, my electrician wasn't able to put that in today because it did not come with like the chimney piece. So that's gonna be shipped separately. And I hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you did, please be sure to give the video a thumbs up. If you're new here and you like what you see, please go ahead and hit that red subscribe button. And guys, comment down below and let me know what you just think of, ev of everything that has happened so far. I'm super duper excited. So I'll catch you guys in my next one. And also, I want to make sure that I mention our 50,000 subscriber giveaway winners. All of their names will be popped up here. Congratulations. And just thank you, everybody who's been a part of my journey and who has clicked that subscribe button. It means so much to me. So thank you to everyone and more giveaways to come. I'll see you guys soon. Bye. If I don't get you, shawty, you